Hi, this is Gleb Alexandrov and we are talking about the Cube and how it can help you to start making awesome computer graphics from scratch. And that's it, from absolute zero. It's like a Cube companion that helps you to solve puzzles and teleport and... So go ahead and create a Cube. Everyone can make it. I bet you can do it better than anyone else. Even it's your first computer generated Cube ever. Use whatever application you like. Oh no, just better go with Blender because you can get it right now. Done? You just made a cube. That's a serious step. I respect it with all seriousness. But we need to make sure it's a 3D cube. Are you sure it's an actual 3D representation of a cube? Let's prove it by orbiting around it. Oh, you 3D bastard. Okay, that looks like a real deal. If you render it out right now and share it with your friends, they will destroy you with the most cruel critique ever possible. Probably they will say that what the f what else can we do? Lighting, my friend. So first, let's play with lighting. How about a sunny day? Too harsh? Let's make a soft area light like it's coming from a window. Now this looks fantastic. But why everything is made of grayish crap? We'll have contrast, we'll have gradients, we don't like to stare at the grayish crap. Actually, when I thought about the cube a second ago, I realized that what we need is a reflective cube, or a colorful cube, and how about red reflective cube with the dots? See? It's awesome. Hit this render button now. Before it's too late, if you hesitate for too long, resistance. Seth Godin likes to use this term kicks in and you give up. So you probably have a 5 seconds to make a decision. And save the picture when it's done. Oh, you really thought it's done? In the land of computer graphics, you can never ever finish the picture in one go. It's just impossible. No way. So get back and this time prepare some coffee, add a sugar and change something in the scene. Like rotate the light by 1 degree this time. Make it 2. Add a personal touch, add a spark, bevel the edges. It will be enough to separate your cube from every other 3D generated cube. Move the freaking cube, hit the render button just like you did before. The last station. It said how this tutorial is coming to an end. Well, here's the precise instructions to creating the best looking 2D picture of a 3D cube. Ready? Make object bright. Make edges dark. Make it glow. I wanna ask you a question. How does it feel to create a picture of a real computer-generated reflective 3D cube with the dots? Concentrate on your feelings for a moment. Wasn't it awesome? Well, maybe it looks like crap that looks like a cube, but I don't think so, really. I think that you should share it with your friends. On Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Flickr and every other social media, they will be proud of you. I'm so proud of you. And I believe that starting a CG artist career is really nothing more than following these simple steps. It was Gleb Alexandrov, now make a sphere.